guys, I'm Amrita, and today in this video, I'm going to be telling you how to make a natural, eco-friendly candle and the ingredients that are bad in a candle that make it toxic. All right, let's get started. So, most modern candles are made from paraffin wax. This type of wax is made from petroleum. It's a byproduct of making gasoline. In 2009, studies found that burning paraffin wax releases potentially dangerous chemicals such as... Toline. All right, let's learn more about paraffin. So people started using paraffin in the 1850s. That's a long time ago. <laughs> this has been going on for the last 170 years. So that's paraffin. So most candles are made from paraffin wax. Why? Because paraffin wax is cheap and easy to get. However, as you just learned, <laughs> paraffin wax, when burned, releases toxic chemicals that lead to global warming, which is not a good thing. So now I'm going to be telling you how to make a 100% eco-friendly and natural candle. Let's get started. So when you're making a natural candle, there are two types of waxes that you can use. One, beeswax. Beeswax is like the most known candle wax that people use that is natural, mostly because people don't know that there is such thing as soy wax that works just as great. Soy wax is made from soybeans, while paraffin wax is made from petroleum. Soy wax was discovered in 1991 as an alternative to paraffin wax and is hydrogenated from soybean oil. Not only is soy wax all natural, it's also sustainable since we can grow more soybeans. So now I'm going to be telling you how to make a candle. You can either use beeswax or soy wax. So what you're going to do... Uh, just, just, just something I want to tell you, beeswax dries quickly. So you want to make sure that you make the super duper fast. So you're going to buy beeswax or soy wax, whatever you prefer. Both work equally as great. Um, soy wax is a teensy bit more expensive, depending on where you buy it and how much you want. So once you buy your wax, you're going to want to melt it in a container that your parents are okay with using because it, wax is super hard to clean. So you're going to want to use a container that you can use when you make candles again because it's gonna be hard to get out. So choose a container that your parents are okay with you getting. So once you get, once you melt the wax, you're gonna to wanna to, um, add essential oils or natural color, depending on what you want. Essential oils, I would suggest that so the candle smells good and it's not just, burning um natural color that's up to you i suggest you use like beetroot juice or stuff like that rather than food coloring and so if you want to add these um ingredients you're going to want to add it while the candle is boiling when it's simmering after that you're going to want to after that you're going to want to keep it boiling for some time until it completely melts and all the part um all the ingredients are mixed together fully Meanwhile, you're going to want to get a heat-resistant container and put a wick in it. A wick, you don't want something too thick or too thin. I get mine from Amazon, but Michael's works just as well. You want to put the wick at the bottom of the bottle, and you want to put the wick before the wax. So, when you put the wick in, you want it to be two inches taller than the top of your glass heat-resistant container. And it doesn't have to be a glass container, it can be plastic, as long as it's heat-resistant. After you put the wick in, you can you just want to hold it, or you can use a, uh, I think they sell like wick holders, so like it doesn't move and like go everywhere. But you want to hold it, keep it in the middle because if it's too close to the edge, the container can burn, even if it's not even if it's heat resistant. So you want to make sure that the wax is in the middle, two inches above the top of the container, and then you can pour the wax in, and then you just had to leave. 